<laughs> Over down, Mossy. Hi, uh, Mr. Robbo. How are you? Yes, today, Jamie. Oh, Stampeded out, wonderful. How are you going? Good. <laughs> Talking it out. Oh, look at that. Tribute to Dubbo. <laughs> well done. Good boys. Hey. Good work. Hey, wow. you're well done on the on the finish, Janie. I feel like I need to be in blue now. We're all running <laughs> on drink out of <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Hey, well done. Well done. Another big uh, marathon finish. Ticked off. How was it out yeah, there? Yeah, today was just, I had it on my mind that I just wanted to pace at 255. I've got New York in three weeks, so I didn't want to completely screw myself up for three weeks' time. So it's just about getting another one to leg and not stressing the body too much and the lungs are fine, the legs are pulled up well. So, I've, you know, I think I did a 254, so a minute ahead of what I wanted to do, so that's all right. Well done. Uh, and your sister has done an amazing job getting all the interviews, muscling her way into the, the finish area there. So thanks for making it all happen, you girl. Sensational. Yep. Now, Jane. Yeah, you, no, that's Veronica. She can get in anywhere you need to get in, too. So, uh, <laughs> no, she got the connections. No, I was told that everyone got in trouble today. If you yeah. want any kind hey, of Jane, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Ronnie has actually yes, taken sir. us into each of the winners, so the men and the women, to the spew zone where they've vomited. <laughs> Can you show us where you vomited? Have you actually vomited yet? Oh, I did a long Sunday run. Why do I need to vomit? Like I just took a cruise. Ah, like, that's no right. No reason for me to vomit today. Nah. <laughs> and of course, if they were wearing ons, they wouldn't be vomiting at all. They'd be running on clouds. No, it's perfect course for them today. Actually, it was pure concrete, but the crowds are just phenomenal. It's um. It's a bit different to New York because New York's very quiet the first half of the race and then you come off the bridge and everyone's there screaming your name. But today the crowds were just, they just love their sport. and Everyone's so friendly and there wasn't a spot on the course where there wasn't someone cheering for you. So it um, certainly helps the race go a lot quicker. And I quite enjoyed it actually because you sort of crisscrossed, but it looked like you were coming into the city and then you went away again. And you came back into the city and you went away again. So mentally it was um, a lot easier to do that sort of race. So um, no, nice one. Definitely recommend it. And, Get How does it rate compared time. to uh, Dubbo Stampede? Um, well, we don't have <laughs> elephant action, let's just say that. Um, we don't have the groupies there cheering for me either. Um, but they're definitely 45,000 people. I think, you know, Dubbo will be there in a couple of years' time anyway with, that sort of, um, with your promotion. So, yeah. Um, no, it's just... Um, just a great race and definitely one for the bucket list. And, um, yes, we'll get you boys fit enough. You now, if I, was, go for a run, I think. Yeah, we'll be there. if I was out in Dubbo and I needed a pool, who would I go to? A pool. You needed a what? Yeah. A pool. <laughs> yeah, we've got a couple of swimming pools. We've also got a river, which is um, yeah. the, the snakes like to swim in as well too. So it always Perfect. helps to swim what's, a little bit What's fast, next for you, Joe? Yeah. Um, so we'll do a little cool down jog now, um, have a couple of days easy, a bit of swimming, um, and then I'll stay over in America, um, head to New York and then, um, do the New York marathon. That'll be my big kaboom marathon for the year and give it all we can. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. So we'll just, yeah, next race is definitely New York. We'll focus on that and, um, perfect, everything we can do that. Yeah. Awesome. If you can do one thing for me, it's going to be to turn to your sister and give her a big sweaty cuddle because she has been fantastic. She she became she became best friends with Steve. Oh, chops out. No, we've lost that. That's all right. But I know what you're going to say. She, just, she had Steve Monaghetti eating out of Steve her Steve Monaghetti, you're a legend. <laughs> 